Hi, welcome back. SIC machine uses uh, two pass assembler to convert assembly language program into object program. In the previous video, I have discussed pass one assembler. In this video, I will discuss uh, pass two assembler. This is the pseudo code of uh, two pass uh, assembler that is actually the pass two assembler in this case. In pass two assembler, the very first thing what we do is uh, we will read the first line from the intermediate file because uh, in pass one assembler it will read the source assembly program and then it will convert it into intermediate file. So we read the first line from the intermediate file in uh, pass two assembler. Once we read it, uh, we will uh, see uh, what is the value present in opcode, whether it is a start or not. Uh, that is what I can uh, show you over here. Uh, the opcode present in this particular file is equivalent to start here. That is what we read. If the opcode is equivalent to start, then uh, what we do is uh, we will start, uh, we will write that particular thing into listing line, you can say. That is uh, just we will write into the final line and then uh, we will read the next input line. So the next input line in this case is this one. So this is the next input line we will read. Once we read the next input line, we will start writing the header record so what is present in the header record we have uh, what is that called as h and then followed by h the name of the program which is present in this particular line that's a previous line uh, sum so i will write that particular sum here and then uh, uh, the next one is the starting address yes it is present in the starting address over here uh, that is 4000 i will write here uh, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0 and then uh, I will write the length. Length of the program we have already calculated in the previous uh, pass, that's the pass one. We will write that particular length also. So the length of the program in this case is uh, this minus this, that is 178E. So that is 100178E. All these things were done in the pass one, so we can easily write this particular line, that is uh, write header record to object program. Next, uh, once we write the header record, we have to initialize the uh, text record. So uh, I will write this particular T here. And then uh, uh, we have to write the first address of this uh, text record. So that is equivalent to 4000 here. So I will write that also. That is uh, 00 4000. Uh, length is not known to us. I will keep this particular thing and then I will go on writing the remaining object codes here. So how to write an object code? That is what is uh, written in this particular while loop so what this particular while loop is does is uh, unless and until the opcode is equivalent to end that is unless and until we reach this particular end we have to perform this particular while loop what we do is we will read the first line if it is not a comment line uh, we will do this particular part if it is a comment line we will go to the next line that is what you can see here next uh, input line now uh, we have to do uh, very important uh, of checkings like uh, first and foremost thing is we have to ch uh, search for this particular opcode in the op tab what is the opcode here opcode is uh, ldx whether it is present in op tab or not if it is present in the op tab the meaning is uh, we must be having some numeric value for that particular op uh, opcode write that particular thing if it is not present uh, where it is not present this one resw is a assembler directive definitely it will not be present in uh, op tab so this is from here to here all these things are present in optab but from here to here these are not present in optab so if it is present in optab uh, we have to use this particular part of the code if it is not present we have to go to this particular else part directly now if it is present what is the next thing i supposed to do here is i have to check what is present in the operand field ldx what is present here zero here so that is what i have to check there may be some value in the operand field or there may not be if there is a symbol in the operand field that is what i have to check if there is no it will go to else part where is the instruction this one you can see here nothing is present in the operand field here from ldx to sta we have uh, uh, the label in the operand field but in this case we don't have any uh, label over here so that is what actually the difference here there is a symbol in the operand field we have to perform these things else i have to perform this part so what i am doing here I am searching for operand in the sim tab. As I said earlier, we have already created a sim tab. So what is present first of all here? Zero is present. So I will search for zero in the uh, symbol table. And then the value of this particular zero will become the address here. So that is what uh, the meaning of this one. So LDX is zero four 
and the address is uh, zeros address is 5788 so that is what the object code here uh, we will write this particular thing into the object code here so we'll go on writing this particular text record so i hope you got that particular point so if it is a uh, present in octave we will check whether there is a symbol in the operand field if there is a symbol we will search for uh, that symbol in the uh, sim tab if it is found the meaning is uh, the the symbol value will become the operand address if it is not present in the operand for example uh, there is one label here and it is not present in the sim tab the meaning is it is not processed properly in pass one so we'll put zero as the operand address and we will set a error flag over here so this is what we do in this particular part of the program if there is no operand we will go to this particular thing we will put zero as the address the example for that one is r sub here the value of r sub is 4c that is what i have written here because there is no operand we have written zero as the address in this case so that's the second part if this opcode is not present in the op tab the meaning is what it is a assembly directive if there is a assembly directive what to do so if there are two assembly directives we have to process one is word and one more is byte rsw there is no need to process because it does not have any uh, what we can say that the object code here start and end does not have any uh, what we can say that uh, object uh, code here so we have to process only byte and word uh, if it is a byte or word convert that constant into object code as simple as that you can see here if it is a word convert that particular thing into object code if it is 0 it will become 0 if it is 10 it will become 10 if it is 100 it will become 100 and so on so that is as simple as that so this is what we have to do uh, the first two things whether opcode is present in octave or not if it is present uh, whether there is a operand field a symbol in the operand field if it is present go to sim tab get the value that will become the address if it is not present in the sim tab 0 is the address if there is no uh, uh, opcode present in octave uh, definitely it will be uh, an assembly directives we have to check whether it is a byte or word if it is byte or word convert that constant into object code here now uh, if the object code will not fit into the current text record means you, you go on uh, writing this particular text record uh, once it reaches the 69 column the meaning is we have to end this particular text record so if it crosses 69 columns write that particular text record into object program and initialize the next text record here the next text record and its address and then the length we should go on writing it here the same thing will be repeated unless and until uh, we reach this particular end here the meaning is we go on reading the next line we will check uh, whether opcode is present in octave if it is not present we will come here if it is present we do this particular part the same thing will be repeated unless and until we reach this particular end here once we reach this particular end uh, we have to write the last text record to this particular object program in this case uh, uh, and then uh, we need to add the end text record end text record starts with e and then uh, the starting address of this particular uh, program so starting address of this particular program is uh, 4000 so i will write that particular thing over here so that i can end with end uh, record here finally we write the last uh, line this particular line into object program over here so this is how uh, actually the pass to assembler uh, looks like and it works over here uh, i hope the concept is clear if you like this video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching